So you want to learn how to control your object with inverse kinematic? Let's learn this. First add cylinder then rotate in x axis around 90 degree. Now go into the edit mode and add two loop cuts. Then scale on y axis. Now select these faces like me and extrude. Then press SX0. Now delete faces and add mirror modifier. Let's select this edge and press Shift S then cursor to selected. And after that set origin to 3D cursor. Then check clipping. Now select these faces and press I for insert face leave here. Now press E for extrude then scale on Y axis like this. Now change to individual then scale like me. Now change to median and extrude outside. Again individual origin and scale down. Now select this edge and bevel little bit. Now let's add subdivision modifier with levels of 2. Now select these edges and bevel them. Let's fix this by inserting faces. Now shade smooth. Let's change thickness by moving this side of faces. Now apply mirror modifier and select both faces and cursor to selected. Then change origin to 3D cursor. Let's make it smaller and select both faces and cursor to selected. Now shift D to duplicate, right click to cancel the movement. Let's press shift S then selection to cursor. Now move this in edit mode like me and then add mirror modifier to it. Then apply modifier. Now select both face and cursor to selected. Then duplicate this one and selection to cursor. Again same process. Now select this one and delete these faces. After that extrude and scale like me. Let's select this edge and press Ctrl B and leave here. Let's add one more object right here with the same process. Then rotate it on Y axis around 90 degree. Then change its origin to the top side. Now it's time to add bones. Let's add armature. Then click on in front so we can see it from everywhere. Now listen carefully. We need to place all the bone points in the center origin of these objects. So select first one, then press shift S, cursor to select it, then go to edit mode of armature, then select this and selection to cursor. Something like this. After this select the second one and cursor to selected. Then select armature, go to edit mode and extrude by pressing E, then leave wherever you want and then selection to cursor. I think now you know what to do next. Now I'm fast forwarding this process so simply change cursor position again and again and then place points like we did earlier. After this process reset the rotation by pressing Alt R. Now select the last one and press shift A. Then rotate this bone. Change to pose mode. Now select this one and this one. Then add inverse kinematic by pressing shift I. Now if you move this it's working properly with this IK bone. After this change position around here. As you can see this bone should only rotate only in Z axis. But if you see its normal axis, this Z axis is replaced with Y axis. So let's go to IK, then lock X and Z. Now you can see it's working properly this time. Now for these ones, lock Y and Z axis one by one in pose mode. Let's check everything is okay or not.
So as you can see it's working properly this time. You can reset position by pressing Alt G. Now it's time to parent these bond with these object. So select the first one, then out from pose mode and select this object, then select armature. Press Ctrl P, then select bone. Now select the second bone in pose mode or edit mode. Now first select object then armature and parent with bone. Same process for the rest one. You can change display as a stick. So as you can see it's working very well. Now select all and move like this. Then move cursor to world origin and after that select all, change to 3D cursor, then duplicate with shift D, press R, Z, 120 degree. Again duplicate, press R, Z, 120. After all this, let's add empty. Now select all armature and go to pose mode and add child of constraint to these upper ones. Then target with this empty. Now select IK bone and scale down. Let's move empty. And it's done. Hope you learn inverse kinematic easily with this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and goodbye guys.